The streets of Lagos are a dangerous place to be. Live rounds fired at protesters has left several dead as a fortnight of unrest boils over. The demonstration to abolish a discredited police unit has grown into a more widespread uprising against corruption and government mismanagement. Jesus! Jesus! One of the protest leaders told me about the violence he saw. It's, it's, it's a massacre. We call it the Lekki Gate massacre because, trust me, it, is, it was premeditated and it was well planned. You know, from cutting power, from removing CCTV cameras, and around that time, um, phone networks went bad as well. Videos posted on social media appear to show arbitrary shootings by the authorities. TVZ is on fire. With numerous buildings being set ablaze by protesters. Um, even in my constituency now, well, um, a, a bank has been set ablaze, the FCMB bank. You know, these things are worrisome. I'm worried that it's going to degenerate to a full-blown um, anarchy. The disturbing images coming out of Nigeria have provoked a strong reaction around the world. US presidential hopeful Joe Biden has called on the Nigerian government to end the crackdown. And here in London, protesters have gathered outside Downing Street. Among those voicing their anger, one of Manchester United's stars. I can't keep quiet anymore for what is going on back home in Nigeria. I would say Nigerian government, you guys are ashamed to the world. What's happening is an atrocity, a murder. And actor Idris Elba has also spoken out. People should not be persecuted for protesting and basically murdered. A protest movement that has been met with just the kind of police brutality it was objecting to is now spreading and turning into a direct challenge to the government of Africa's most populous country. Dan Rivers, News at 10.